So welcome my scientific people. Today I am going to show a demonstration on latent heat. So after discussing this concept of latent heat, we will do an experiment. Hormat, come here. What is written here? Latent heat experiment. Okay, good. So for this experiment, uh, we are using a glass of water and two balloons and a candle. Now the difference between two balloons is that this balloon is it is filled with air and this balloon is filled with water. It is a hollow balloon. Go sit there. So in this experiment I have taken a beaker which is filled with ice cubes which are solids. Okay. So roughly the temperature of ice cubes would be minus 10 degree and after some certain time like the temp we are giving heat by using Bunsen burner and once the temperature is increased uh, the kinetic energy would it would increase and before kinetic energy usually we can say the force of attraction would decrease then motion will increase and therefore kinetic energy will also increase so after some time suppose the temperature reached 5 minus 5 degree and after some time the same thing is happening the temperature is increased and we are seeing a temperature of minus uh, this zero degree celsius on the thermometer which is embedded in this beaker now as you know the melting point of ice is zero degree celsius that means that means here now the particles of solid which were initially solid it has been completely converted into liquid now can you see the change the whole the heat the time the time which converted and the temperature uh, the factor of temperature and pressure which converted the solid into liquid and it took some span of time and that part that composition change that phenomena is called latent heat or well, latent usually means uh, it means cons concealed what concealed or hidden or hidden that is which we cannot see by our eyes but inside some change has some change is going to happen the change has been happened like the solid has been converted into liquid and the same phenomena happens this is called latent heat of fusion okay and it converted solid into liquid at one atmosphere pressure and and what and on melting point that is for that is zero degree for solids and the same phenomena happens that is called latent heat of vaporization wherein liquid particles are being converted into gaseous particles that means uh, it, it it uses the latent this is called a latent heat of vaporization and it occurs at a uh, melting point of water which we know that is 100 degrees celsius and the pressure is usually 180 m that is atmosphere atmosphere okay so these are two things now we are i am going to show a demonstration that means we'll show we'll see this first and after that we'll do this is an this is a hollow balloon it will burst immediately once we'll provide heat but this balloon is filled with water so as you know it will take some time so after this so you can understand the basic difference between two is this is filled with water so it will it will have this phenomena latent heat of vaporization so first the liquid particles which are inside this balloon they will first uh, gain the energy in the form of latent heat then they will convert into gaseous phase and after that it will burst but this will burst immediately it's not having any particle inside it so let's start are you ready <laughs> this is very stupid. What was that? start. Now I'm providing the heat in the form of latent heat. So firstly the particles inside water they have absorbed this heat. So all uh, is devastated. 